Now, you mention cultural and social retrogressions. Mm. Again, I'm quoting you. Arguably, the most consequential of these was the decline in two-parent families. Yes. Close quote. Explain that one. Among African Americans. Yes. We're still talking about African Americans. Well, you know, when, when, when they talk about things like this, they talk about the legacy of slavery. Right, right. And, 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 uh, and I argue, well, empirically, it's not that. It's the legacy of the welfare state. Because as of 1960, which is almost 100 years after slavery has ended, uh, the majority of black kids were being raised in two-parent households. But within one generation after the welfare state, that had dropped down to a minority. So that the majority of black kids today are, are, are raised in one-parent households. When you think about it, I mean, uh, centuries of slavery, and generations of Jim Crow, did not destroy the black family, but one, one generation of the welfare state did. The Moynihan Report, uh, what was it, a call for national action, yes. the, the, Negro, the Negro family, a call for national action, yes. 1965, and right. even 50 years ago, and his principal point of alarm, and again, now I'm trying to recall the statistics, but I believe the out-of-wedlock birth rate among African Americans in 1965 mm -hmm. was 25%. Something like that, yeah. And he was so alarmed that he wrote this mm -hmm. report, and today it's over 70%. And yes. by the way, the, the rate among whites is over one-third at this stage. Yes. So how do these, how does the family breakdown fit into an economic understanding? Is it something, it's, the, the social breakdown of the American family is something that we have to understand aside from the tools of economics? It just doesn't fit into supply and well, demand well, curve, well, well, curves well, certainly economic this history? Is, this occurred at a time when the black income was rising. And so we're saying that previous generations of blacks with lower income and more racial barriers, stuck to, the family stuck together under those conditions. And under the new conditions, which were advertised to make for great progress, in fact created retrogressions. And I think many people who were gung-ho for the idea that this was going to be progress simply cannot bring themselves to look at the evidence and say, my God, we made things worse. 